Wales captain Sam Warburton ruled out of South Africa test after picking up injury in training. He suffered injury in training on Tuesday and will be replaced by Dan Lydiate as blindside flanker while Gethin Jenkins takes over as captain. After making 10 changes last week for the narrow 33-30 victory against Japan, Wales have gone back to a near full-strength selection with Warburton's injury necessitating the only change from the side that beat Argentina 24-20 at Gardi for fortnight ago. We were pleased with the win against Argentina so have gone with virtually the same team for South Africa, said coach Rob Howley in a video released by the Wales Rugby Union. We've made just one change in the back row. Sam, Warburton picked up a bit of a stinger injury on Tuesday and isn't quite ready so Dan comes in. Dan played particularly well against Japan so we are pleased he gets the opportunity again. Torlup Faldun Sam Davis are two changes to the players on the bench. Tonga Born Falda returns after knee ligament damage restricted his season to less than an hour of competitive action. He was hurt in his debut for Bath in September but played 55 minutes against Bristol last Friday to prompt his recall. It's good to have Torlup back in the squad, he will add a good impact from the bench. We are delighted with Sam, Davis. He showed individual composure and accuracy last weekend and he gets another opportunity on the bench, as he did against Australia. There is the tinge of disappointment in terms of performance against Japan and we want to put that right. Not only are we looking to win this weekend we want a performance to go with it. Wales are looking for a trio of autumn international victories for the first time since 2002 when they beat Romania. Fiji and Canada in a row. They have only beaten South Africa twice in 31 attempts, but are up against a Springbok team in crisis.